pros and bs zentangle is a meditative art form that is a relaxing method of creating abstract art using structured patterns it teaches and focuses on being mindful and present zentangle requires no artistic skills zendalas are the best of zentangle and mandalas welcome to zendala joy 31 days 31 zendalas hello i'm sandhya manne i'm an artist and a certified zentangle teacher In this channel we talk about creating and practicing zentangle my own zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you do not miss out on any videos that we post throughout this month of october it's day 14 today and i am going to use string number 9 for today's project to get your instant free uh, download of the zendala string template sign up onto my newsletter the link is in the description So for today's project, I will be working on my round uh, white zendala tile, and I'm going to use my black pen, pencil, and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. So here we are, day fourteen, and this is our string number nine. So we are going to trace this uh, onto our tile. So to get your instant free download of these zendala strings, there are about fifteen zendala strings that I put together in a PDF. To get yours, all you have to do is sign up onto the newsletter, and you will get these free uh, instant download. Uh, and you can trace them onto your tile and follow along this video okay so for today's session i will be using my 01 black micron a pn pen or a thicker pen and a thicker tip pen so everything in black and i'm using a pencil and a stub for shading okay so let's get started for uh, our first pro first triangle which we will be doing inside this section let's start with this triangle called mary hill so mary hill is a it's a lovely triangle um so i'm going to uh we're going to twist it a bit so i am oring this This section, sorry, not oring. I'm inking this section. So this is where I'm going to do my Mary Hill. So we start from the step. We always start from the step and branch out a bit like this, and then go along this this line like this, like this. and you end it up here like that okay so we're going to repeat this again again i'm going to start right at this point so go up now i don't have much of a a space to go all the way up so i'm just going to follow along so whatever space i have i am going to just work along on that So this goes like this. Now my next one comes here. Like that. Okay. So again, let's start again. Again and again. So until you no longer have any more space, we're just going to keep oring like that. To see the kind of illusion it creates. So let's repeat this one more time. So again, I'm just first going to ink this outline. Okay. 
and now I'm going to start right at this point. So let's start at this point, go out like that. So let's do that. Okay. So again, I'm going to start right at this point, branch out a bit. So let's go ahead and repeat this. So just keep going along until you no longer have space to create anymore. See that? So let's go ahead and repeat this in all, all our sections. So I'll show you one more maybe. So we're going to first ink this. Okay, so let's do it this way. like that so let's finish the rest of it okay, so here is my hill doesn't that look fun uh, so now we are going to work in this section so I'm going to use the fragment B5 so here's how we're going to go I'm going to trace this okay and I'm going to start off with circles like that right right at the line so basically my circles are sticking to the to the line there okay so I'll go back and fill in any gaps and then I'm going to aura this like this so let's repeat this on all our sections so let me do this once again so we are going to add uh, ink these pencil lines first and start with circles that are touching the line one more okay. 
so make your circles right next to the line in fact touching the line and stack them right next to each other so it's kind of tightly packed and once you're done with that you can go back and kind of fill in those gaps and then your aura like that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of it so here it is all done with b5 and mary hill now let's get to this section so we shall do braze here tangle braze so i'm going to ink this line first Um, now I'm going to pull a line from this end to this from this corner to this corner here now you can either do like this is something I've been thinking which way to do so well, I'll give you both options you can choose so either you can make a straight line like this or you can make a slightly wavy line and I think I'm going to go do that I have been debating on this but I'll settle for this so I made a wavy line okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is aura this V here so I start on this go about till there and then aura out right I'm going to repeat this again now this time I'm going to leave a bit of a space like that okay and then I'm going to add another line so a little away from here add another line okay so Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use my PN pen or a thicker pen and I'm going to fill this big space that is there. So I'm going to fill this complete black. Like this. So now we have one line away. Now I'm going to make another or a line set of four lines. So we're going to make something like this: two lines, one right next to it, and then one slightly away from it. So I go up and down, and I'm going to make it slightly wider. So this goes like this. and this goes like this and again we are going to finish it up with a, another line just going to be slightly away from it so it's basically it's basically one two with more space and two and three with little space and then you repeat again one two and three Okay, so now let's fill this space up. So you basically have one line in between two solid filled up space. So let's do this again. Okay, so now I'm going to give a Nora line right next to this. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna now finish it up on this line. Now I'm gonna give another line right next to it which is slightly wider so I have more space to add my black okay so let's do that so I'm gonna add black here So something like this. Let's repeat this again on the section. Okay, so we will first ink our triangle shape here or this upside down V shape. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink it like that. Now I'm gonna make a slightly wavy line. connecting this to this and then I start off with an aura line I'm going to give one more aura line and then a wider line okay so now I'm going to fill in this gap here Okay, so I'm going to repeat this, putting again, so I'm going to give another line to this line. And then a wider line, and another other line. Okay, so let's go back and fill that space up. Okay, so let's now get more aligned to this. And make that wider line. And then finish it with another other line. So I'm going to use my thicker tip pen to fill this gap up. So over here we are again going to do 
do that and just pull that corner up so so let's repeat these on the other ones as well so here it is all done the brace now let's get to this section so I want to keep it uh, simple so we're going to do this tangle called Kiko it's a lovely uh, weave weaved tangle it looks really nice so we're going to start along this line okay so I'm going to start with um, four lines that goes like this one two three and four and then I make my lines go this way so one two three and four I'm going to repeat this again one two three and four one two three and four okay so one two three and that's that's all the space I have so I stop right there so now here I'm going to go along this line so I'm going to start here one and I just adjust all of that two three and four and then I, I go this way so one two three and four and then one two three and four one two three and four two three four like that so I'm going to repeat this again now I'm going to go along this line so one two three and four and I'm going to go down Okay, so let's again start from here. Do you see the way? So we're going to repeat this again we're going to repeat this all around so let's do this once again so again we start along this line so it's one of those tangles that you really can't go wrong with it's absolutely simple so you just go one two three okay i'm going to count this line as well so yeah one two three and then i go this way so one two three and four make that too long so one two three and four one. okay so now I'm gonna go this way
okay so let's repeat this all around so we're creating this lovely weave all around so here it is all done Kiko all around and it's time to get to shading now so let's get our pencil and stub and before I start with shading I wanted to mention about our Zenbees Facebook group it's a fun group um, all all the Zenbees uh, following this video and trying out uh, the Zendalas share their works there and it is a riot there a lot of fun you can see all the creations where other Zenbees and it. there's a lot of learning happening there so a learning after these sessions so you see how others have uh, improvised or added some elements which is really interesting to see so i invite you all to join my zenbees group um, it's a it's a fun place you know, to hang out with your other buddies who are following these videos okay so now let's get to shading um, so we are going to go right behind this this line okay so i'm just gonna put my pencil right here like that so let's blend this okay So now I'm also going to give a very gently just add that tip as well just to enhance that. So it's not going all the way down it's just right at the top. Okay. So, so do you see how it kind of goes down and up and it, it really enhances that that flow and that movement happening there so i'm going to finish the rest so here it is all done i've done the shading all around now let's get to our next section so which is v5 so i'm i'm just going to go ahead and kind of probably just put my pencil on one side just there and I'm going to blend this out gently like so, so just just that much so let's do that Okay, so that looks like that now let's get to braise so for braise I am going to again pick one side and just add the pencil so I'm going to go on to this side just to give a break like that and then we shall pull it down like this so it really um, emphasizes on that that raise that goes up and down right so let's do this so I have a far sections here so I'm just adding my pencil right now I use my stub to blend it out
Okay, so. There you go. So all done. I've shaded all around base. So now let's uh, get to Kiko. So again, for Kiko, we are just going to go outside of Brace. So we're just going to kind of land, uh, put the pencil there and run it down. Like that. Let me see. Let's do that again here. That. So I'm going to do the rest of it. There it is all done. Now you can call this complete at this point and it is complete. But I want to add another fun element here. So again this is optional if you want. You can do this otherwise we are pretty much good with this at this point of time. So here's what I'm going to do. I have these four you know this, this squarish thing with four lines going up around so I'm going to enhance this so here's what I'm going to do just here and here I'm going to add my pencil like this okay, do you see where I'm adding my pencil where these vertical lines kind of end that is where I'm adding my pencil so it looks like this and then I'm very gently just smoothing it out. I'm making sure I have that center part white. So I'm not going too far. Like that and like that. Okay. So do you see what it's done? It just kind of enhanced just this, this place here. So I'm going to do that on all of, on all of my uh, sections here. So we're not doing the entire thing, it's just these four here. So it really makes it look interesting, it really makes it look like a V. Um, but again, this is optional, I just wanted to give it a pop, so I'm doing this. But if you are fine with what we did up until now, you can, you can end it at that point. So I'm just going to do this all around. So I'm going to put my pencil just smoothly blended. So again like that, it just lifts off the page, doesn't that? So yeah, you can see this now, one, two, three, see how that looks. So let me do that on the other other tree as well. Let's okay, so I put my pencil right where these vertical lines end. And then I'm using my stub just to gently blend it out. So I'm going to do this on the other two as well. So here it is all done. I, I really like these fun enhancements that's just popping the whole thing out. So now it's time to put our initials or signature and to journal the style. So okay, let's see where can I add my 
Okay, I'm, I'm just going to add my full name here. So I'm going to go over to space here. Right there. Okay. Okay, so now let's journal this. So, okay, let's do it this way. So this is, today is 14th of October 2020. And this is then Jala Joy to 14. And we work with string number 9. And we started off with Tangle Mary Hill. And then we did the fragment. B5. And the weighted brace, and we finished it off with Kiko. Okay, so there you go. Hope you had fun creating this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So hop onto our Facebook group, Zenbees, where all the after party fun happens. Share your works there and check out the creations by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Mane or hashtag Tangle with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. A quick note, these projects are for your personal use and no part of this uh, or the videos can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, email me to get information about my group classes or to schedule your private sessions. Slots for the month of October are now open. Now it's time to comment, so please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow on day 15 and we will be working with string number 12. So go get your tile ready and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.